Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and CardinalDeeds.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic and categorical syllogisms looking at figure 4, the last of our figures. So, we've learned that figure 1 has a diagonal going down from the top left to the bottom right. Figure 2 has a column of middle terms on the far right. Figure 3 has a column of middle terms on the far left. You should be able to tell that figure 4 is going to have a diagonal of middle terms going the opposite way from figure 1, from the bottom left to the top right. That just means that the middle term is going to be second in the first premise and first in the second premise. Let's take a look. So, figure 4 would look something like all P are M, no M are S, therefore no S are P. We know this is figure 4 because our diagonal is going up. It's going from the bottom left corner to the top right corner. Now, an example of a famously valid figure 4 is the Calames argument. That's going to be A, E, E. Examples might be all cacti are spiny things. No spiny things are things that are fuzzy. Therefore, no fuzzy things are cacti. We know this is figure 4 because spiny things, our middle term, is set on that diagonal going from the bottom left to the top right. That was figure four. Next up, we're going to take a look at the moods of these different categorical syllogisms, and then conditionally and unconditionally valid syllogisms. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.